I don't remember when I first heard the verse, there is nothing new under the sun. What has happened will happen again. But I do remember not liking it. That was a paraphrase of the verse. I thought, well, that's a bit discouraging. And indeed, um, many of the reviews or document commentaries um, seem to point, well, at least I can think of one, that uh, this is talking about things like, you know, for example, airplanes. You know, there's nothing new about airplanes. Clouds already existed. Airplanes are just, you know, you know, make metal clouds. I, uh, I, I was not too fond of this interpretation. But uh, now that I'm older, I think I understand what the verse is really talking about. You see, the wickedness of man seems to be constant. And by constant, I don't mean the same amount, like throughout all of time. Uh, no, surely not. Rather, what I mean by constant is it's constantly occurring and the same things keep occurring. You know, isn't that, you know, basically the born of history, studying it? Well, one of the reasons. Perhaps the only reason. It's hard to say. You know, if we don't learn from history, we're, uh, we're doomed to repeat it. Yet, uh, you know, many people have not taught history in the most uh, practical of ways, shall we say. Uh, that being said, if you look throughout history, you can see the same kind of crimes committed over and over again. The same sort of follies. Things not so obvious, you know? Obviously everyone knows, you know, don't steal. But, you know, we don't know about, we don't usually don't learn about, you know, the nature of stolen elections in the past. Um, you know, in history class, we tend not to hear about, you know, how uh, West Virginia was formed, or how um, Kennedy and LBJ were uh, possibly cheating in the in the election. So, um, given that things like that aren't really taught, but things like dates are taught, one must consider, well, you know, what's the point of history if uh, we're not really learning anything from it? Because indeed, you know, it doesn't seem like we are. But uh, at the same time, the, the reality of the verse does come into play because every idea that you know, seems to be new, can often be traced to the past. You know, uh, take um, human evolution, for example. Uh, most would probably say 1850 was when that idea came around. This isn't a conspiracy theory I'm about to present, by the way. But no, um, even in the time of the Greeks, there was a man... Um, who uh, believed that uh, mankind had descended from animals. And so it's interesting to think, you know, an idea that uh, one thinks is novel is not necessarily novel. And uh, perhaps that's part of the humility of studying history is knowing that you're not the first. Perhaps a lot of folly could be avoided in the world if we just, you know, remembered that Someone else has probably already thought of this, indeed. But uh, it seems in modern society this is not the case. Um, so I guess if there's a, a lesson to be had in this video, the lesson is that um, whatever you think is new is not necessarily new. 
but you are in good company and all men it's not hard to suppose are your brothers 